I need to know what the hell scat is. The game. Um, really quick. So, I, I don't care too much about trying a lot of the NES games. And I know I've tried some of them. So, just really quick. I want to look through. And see... Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving a try. I know I've tried Ninja Gaiden. And that's just awful. I didn't even look to see if there was actually anything I cared about. Very few decent people enjoy. I mean, I know. I'm, I want to know what the scat game is. What is this? Star Tropics? Also, as a heads up, I'm not going to stick with any of the NES games long. I'm basically going to probably like just boot them up and then see what they are. Uh. Oh, it was plus or pause or whatever the hell the button is on the switch. Who's helping title? Uh. Now I'm hitting pause, and that's not the right button. Oh, wait. Something moved it down. There we go. Cloudy D, I guess. Wasn't exactly my intention, but works. <laughs> At Sea Island, where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. Okay, cool. This is it, huh? I mean, it is the NES, but still. I expected at least a second text box. Coral Cola. Welcome to Sea Island. Is that Coral Island or Cola Island? throw a fastball sometime. I miss Coral 1990. Do you think I'm... Oh! I'm Miss Coral, not I miss Coral. Oh, God. The English is broken enough in these types of games without me adding to it by just misreading. Your uncle told me about you. I feel like we were old friends. Coral the Llama. Oh, God. I'm looking at chat and missing the one by one thing. Is there Chief in here? I don't know what, like, the actual gameplay of this is. You know, that gut, though. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news last night. Shit the entire bed. Real shame. It's from the Islanders, so they don't panic. You have the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. Sure. I feel like I've seen this game. I absolutely have not. Oh, I kind of like how they made the box. I'm sure that's just because this is slow enough they couldn't just show the box. I have Ligma. I would not be surprised if at some point I just saw Game Grumps happen to play this before this NES emulator on the Switch was even a thing. Some random game they played. And I'm gonna leave the village because I assume that was it. Alright, I'm starting to think maybe that wasn't it. Also... Throwing it out there. 
already reaching the limit for this game. The village does have a pig. I wonder if the pig talks. I feel like there's a 50-50 the pig talks. I guess the pig has decided to show me its ass in a friendly greeting. I'm supposed to talk to you. You're standing in front of what looks like a doorway. <clears throat> well, I don't care anymore. I think I've played Kirby's Adventure, but I could be wrong. Star Soldier? Eh, it looks kind of like a shooty spaceship game. I could probably play that for a little bit. Intense base boost it flies. God, I keep forgetting I need to hit start and not like A. Yo, look, it's basically Galaga, but probably a little newer and fancier. And made by Nintendo. Oh, that is true awful. I haven't messed with Punch-Out. I'll give Punch-Out this, though. It's famous and supposedly good enough that if I mess around with Punch-Out, I might want to give it more of a serious attempt than I am willing to give any of the games today. <laughs> At least for the NES, the, this is not... Let's play these games and see if any are the good. It's Let's play the obviously garbage ones and just see what happens. Oh, I guess I can also fly through all of this. I kind of tried to specifically avoid it. Because I've never actually tried, like, any of the Punch-Outs. I don't know how many there are. I know there was, like, the newer-ish remake on, like, the Wii. That, like, made it an actual game. Instead of, you know, an NES game. Which can only be considered a game in regards to the time. Okay, so it seems the buildings block my shots, just not me. <clears throat> All right, that's somewhat interesting. Clue Clue Land. Oh, Donkey Kong Jr. I've actually played that. It sucks and is hard. I don't like it. Twin B, Double Dragon, City Connection. All right. Oh God, it's already started. I guess that makes sense. I did hit start, all right? I got, like, jump. I can shoot the police, all right? This is already a cool game. I can go left and right. I hit a pig cat. I have failed. I have failed. Don't hit the pig cats. Got it. Oh, I'm, like, painting... The squares? Oh. Okay, I have ammo. Those oil cans I pick up are the ammo. You know what? I'm gonna go left and be a rebel. Okay. So this is not a large area because I've already cycled. Flee the popo! Shit. <clears throat> Got it, Kiwi. Whoops, I need to start again. Oh, that's weird and doesn't explain itself very well. Go figure. What's a vice project doom? Oh, it's got story. All of it, an open market at my command. future of these people depends upon me. The SNES was out by now. That explains why this is much more of a game than the last thing we tried. I've already forgotten the name of it. Whatever that weird card game was. However, there's one small problem. One of the subjects has escaped. And we haven't been able to locate it yet. You find you choose vice. I know. God. How is he doing with V? 
them. Should I bring him to you, it may be about time. No, leave him alone. He will come, just as I did, 30 years ago. God, it's been 30 years since you did that? You should do that more often. It's actually somewhat healthy for you. Maniac, loose in area D. He is about to come. Just like that other guy did 30 years ago. Nutcase, loose in the city. It's showtime. Oh, okay. I was expecting, like... I don't know, Strider-esque? Sideways shooting loot? Something? Not a spy car? Was that the arcade game? I don't remember. Okay, 2D Metal Gear? God. I got hit. woman and a man touching on the front god you're i hate that one you're right to i know enough that i can know that you're right for box art for a game system that came out a number of years before i was born Allie. you know i didn't even see if any other button uh did anything, I just pressed B and it shot. Should have surrendered while he had the chance. Hmm, there's no record of this guy, but his hands, they look so soft and pleasant. That gun he carried, it looks like a building that we could have used for the background of the city. Alright, I'm losing interest, I'm gonna be honest. I'm enjoy I'm enjoying the shitty story they're attempting to tell. But Vice Project Doom. Oh see? This is more what I was expecting. Okay. I was expecting more gun than sword, but also. Oh, there we go. Alright, I have bullets, though. wonder if it's supposed to be like a stun baton or something. Oh! Oh, it's one of those games. Of course that floor bit fell. Why wouldn't it? Couldn't you tell? By the way it fell when you stood on it? What do you mean you would want to know before you stood on it? See, it's got like vague cracked like bullshit on it. Alright, I, I can't jump off of it once it starts falling. I need to just avoid it. So killing the enemy that pops up right there and trying to grab the stuff it drops is fool's errand. Also, shout out to the, the Chinese hopping vampires. According to the wiki, it's a laser whip. Alright, that's actually cool, and I love it. They stole that idea from Ratchet and Clank. Shame on them. I'm trying to remember what the, the fucking vampires are called. Zhang Shi, I want to say. But the gun shooting energy shots is just a 44 Magnum. Beautiful. Alright, I gotta say, bes besides the bullshit falling platforms. This is kind of fun. I'm enjoying it. Oh. Alright, that's the bit where I would end up stop having fun, because it seemed like everything fell in that area. You just have to go fast. Alright, we, we gotta take a look at Kung Fu Heroes. Where am 
my kung fu action style. Oh god, he he has sweet kick flips that I do not have. I have but punch. And punch. Is there something else I can do? Am I was I hitting them? Are they fighting each other? They are. As they seem to be. Uh, video games, Artie, which people play to have fun. Come on. What am I looking at? Oh, hey, Keepy's, Keepy's playing Pokemon Shield. A far inferior game than Kung, Kung Fu Heroes. Is that what this was? Am I supposed to be just trying to get to the door? Oh, nope, I had to kill so many of them. Kingdom Hearts is trending? Oh god. Hold on, there's something far more important than Kung Fu Heroes. Oh, it's its 19th anniversary. Happy birthday, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I probably should have, at some point, been like, Hey, swapping over to fucking around on the NES and SNES. Uh, special Grace. Alright, I, I gotta see what Crystal this is. Yo, what's up, Macho? How you doing? The study of video game. Savage war engulfs the world. Civilization is destroyed. An evolution has taken place. The Earth's axis shifted and all creatures became mutated. Life would never be the same. Those survived vowed not to repeat their mistakes of the past and erected a great tower in the sky. My dick. Oh, they gave me plenty of time to read that one. To oppress evil forever. Is this one actually good? This one seems like it might actually be good, at least for its time. Dominated by mutated creatures. This game's actually kind of dope so far. <clears throat> With the tower of its consequences once activation had become begun. Would they still stand a chance? There was still one hope. Game's an hour or so before judging them. I mean, games this old, I feel like, where often the game an hour in is the same, but with different colors. I feel like I can judge a couple minutes in. Also, am I playing Secret of Mana? Is that what this is? Is this just Secret of Mana, but older? Before it? This one actually looks fun. I I might put this one off for later. There's a guy coming out of the cave. Yeah, look, I've got, like, numbers, and they're labeled so I can guess what they are without having to pull up a guide. Unlike some of the other games where it was just the numbers and I had to guess what they all were. Oh, and in. Oh, this is like an actual RPG. Look at this. Oh, well, I, I, I hit the button to talk to you, and you just auto-talked to me, and I got rid of your text box. I am sorry. Warp boots and the alarm flute. The air is always cold, but we're used to it. Cool. I might come back to this game at some point. I 
feel like I saw this ran at GDQ. Did you see this or just any RPG from this time? Because they could not really make them look that much different, let's be honest. This money is from the wise man Zebu. It's yours. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna open up one of my notepads. I'm gonna write the name of this game down because it's actually somewhat intrigued me. I might want to come back to this at some point and play it for like a stream. Crystalis. Oh, you know what? I'm willing to bet it's actually just Chrysalis, but the sword right there makes it seem like it's supposed to be a T. So okay, great. Let me let me scroll back through. I'm gonna make a small list of like games I'm actually somewhat interested in here. Uh, which I believe is just so far that Twin B and uh, Punch Out. Oh, it is Crystalis with the T. Oh, you know what? Blaster Master as well. I know that I got, like, a remake. The remake's probably, like, $5. I'm not pulling open Blaster Master because I actually somewhat know what to expect from that. Oh, yeah, I pulled open Star Soldier. That was the Galaga game. It's like, that one looks kind of interesting. Did I check that one out? All right. So we're almost through with this, and then we'll take a look at that SNES, which will actually give me time. <clears throat> you should try Zelda 2. It's better than Zelda 1. Fight me, old nerds. Yeah, I, I think Twin B is just one of those games that was way more popular in Japan than elsewhere. So it actually gets referenced a decent amount, but no one outside of Japan really knows or cares about it. Call of Duty Development. Jay's father has passed away. Rip Jay's father. Glad he got a name. I'm glad I already know Jay, so the introduction of Jay's father makes sense. The evening news reported that Jay's father's death was an accident. Do you think they used the phrase Jay's father? Or do you think they used his actual name? Several days later, Jay finds a flubby disc left in his father's room. I hear the terrorists are planning against the colony development. The terrorist? The one and only? You must complete my mission if I cannot. Title, what's that? I only saw the save icon. Jay and Silent Bob. They will pay the price for the death of my father. Oh my god. You know what? I think I've actually booted this off off stream because I saw that and I was like, that looks cool. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. NES. Was that? Alright, that was. I was just about to ask if that was like a mortar. Can I like... They're like a hold down and aim. Alright, worst Contra. Got it. Worst baby looking Contra. Hold, could hold a game, a whole game. Yeah, all 12 kilobytes that you needed for a video game. Okay, I can I can duck to shoot that at least. I'm not seeing like a aim and direction button. <clears throat> I can't remember if I actually used floppy disks or not. I definitely knew what they were and I saw them, but I don't know if, like, I personally pulled one up and shoved it into a computer to use things. You mean Red Dead 2? Alright, I'm kind of good on that. Shadow of the Ninja by Natsume. I said 3 plus for a reason. You know what? Fair. You did. God, it's crazy this was 1990. Oh, sorry. That one wasn't the... Oh, no, wait. Alright, that was the... I'm confused. Oh, man. Do I want to be Hayate or Cade? Oh! 
All right, Metal Gear. Yo, I didn't know that they had a 2D version of Metal Gear Solid 2. With Red Snake. Oh. Oh, this is actually... This is actually kind of dope. God, is this like a cool, not bullshit Ninja Gaiden? I like. I seem to have changed my weapon from probably grabbing something I didn't quite notice. Oh, right. One of them dropped something. Alright. I'm getting Ninja Gaiden crossed with Castlevania vibes. Probably just because I got the whip now. But also, I feel like the uh, the weapon drops are Castlevania-y. Oh, is it doing that old thing? I'm capturing in 30 FPS, but the game's at 60, so it only gets half the frames. difference between the characters are. I don't care enough to look, but you know. Just the sprite. Well. Alright, footballers. Calm down. Got it. Eliminator Boat Duel? This is gonna be the shittiest one so far. I can I can feel it in my bones. Also, I see the joke now, Kiwi. I wasn't looking earlier. My groovy guru vibes help me help my boat skim the waves. So long, unenlightened one. Oh God. Oh. All right. So holding A goes. B's jump. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be following this little path-like thing. All right, that's a gator. Dodge the gator. Oh, that was a dollar sign. I probably should have grabbed that. Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck? I'm in front, that makes me the victor, right? It's a race. Do I have like an attack or something? But I have to beat that guru asshole. I don't know what I'm doing. I assume I have health and, nope, they won. They got in front of me right at the end. All I wanted from that one. Rygar. I've seen Rygar. I pass. The Immortal. Uh oh. Yo, EA? Fuck. EA's first game ever. Oh. What? Please, oh, press. <laughs> that said, please, please start button or enter certificate. What does that mean? Press start button or enter certificate. Start. Oh, probably like checkpoint. It might be a good idea to move. Bullshit. Oh. I thought, to explain there, I thought that was a really bad tutorial, being like, try moving in this video game. Not, 
you stepped on something bad, you should move before it kills you. We're just gonna tell you that. Prepare to continue. Alright. Since when does an old video game warn you that you're about to die? An image of the old wizard, M Mordabir, leaps from the candle and begins to speak. Dunric, you have come to save me. I am in the dungeons far below. I know I can count on you. This explains your old teacher's mysterious disappearance, does it though? There is one thing strange about the message. It got the streamer a follow, which does not make sense in the year 1991. Mr. Fist, Mr. Fist, not Mr. Fist, thank you for the follow. Muchas gracias, super appreciate it. Hope you enjoy this. Hey, this sounds hectic. It's locked, and you don't have the key. Okay. You find the body of a slain fighter. Search. You find a ring. A name is etched on the band. Dunrick. I'm Dunrick now. Alright. This... This might be worth taking a look at more in depth later on. I, or maybe not, I can't aim. Submit! 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 Doing. Don't interfere. Oh, I can like move the analog stick to fight different. Of course, why wouldn't I just shoot fireballs from a different distance? Of course I'll walk up and try to stab the mean orc. I'm good on this one, at least for now. Alright. What everyone's been waiting for. Scat. By Natsume again. That was a name that popped up before. Special Cybernetic Attack Team. Scat. Oh god. Oh, is this... Oh, this is character select. I can choose eh or eh. This one's got Samus shoulders from the Varia suit, so we're gonna go with them. The one on the right. You must destroy them. The Earth is counting on you. Good luck. Take this, them. This is extremely underwhelming. I'll take W for wave. So that's at least two times I can think in video games where uh, scat was used for what was probably supposed to be a cool special forces unit and one, they are not cool in the slightest. Two, we can make poop jokes about uh, this and uh, fucking Night Trap. I'm pretty sure the group you're part of is scat as well. 
I may be misremembering that. I just thought W was blind. Eh, I wouldn't be surprised if it kind of depended on the game. If a scat man can do it, then so can you. Alright, this is... Radius? Radius is like this, right? I'm thinking of the right game. Either that or I just can't think of the name right now. It's just one of these games. We actually have Gradius on this, so I don't know why I would really play this instead. There's like extremely quiet music that may or may not be good. Oh yeah, shmups. That's what they're called. Thank you, Kiwi. Sega Control Attack Team. That's right. They at least were trying to shoehorn Sega in. I'll give Night Trap more of an excuse on that. Also, it's Night Trap. Come on. They had to be at least somewhat in on the joke on that one. Oh, you get the Mega Man bubbles when you die. And apparently only one life. Alright. That's enough scat for one day. Can only handle so much. Nightshade Part 1? Oh, when is Nintendo gonna put Part 2 on the NES? Statements that aged like milk. <laughs> I had a huge brain fart and I just saw the M software. It was like, From Software? Dark Souls? That's my home. Metro City. City City. Quiet Place. Good City City. Good People City. Good Future City. The streets were safe once. A person could walk around the city without any worries. The kind of city where you always knew your kids were safe. But as time passed, bad seeds started to grow in the city, and Vortex, Metro City's city's protector, was outnumbered. So we started wearing fedoras because we thought it looked cool. And we decided not to have a text box for this one, for reasons unknown. Probably because we thought it looked cool. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there was apparently a superhero. Blah, blah, blah. Went bad. People started getting mugged. Oh, no. Like rats fighting over cheese. Pretty soon, the crime bosses began to fight over control of City City. Something began to change. The King War stopped. There's someone new in town. Someone organizing all the criminals. He's the one I want. He's the one who wants to kill my town. Is it a town, a metro, or a city? Make up your damn mind. Uh, uh, yada yada. Anubis? Oh god. Yo, I have a popularity meter. All right, hold on. Ah, uh, bomb. Nightshade can't do that. Nightshade can't do that. Get out of the chair first. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Has begun burning through Nightshade's ropes. Nightshade is free. And we're loading that part. Hold on a second. Almost. There we go. Can I take the candle with me, maybe? For no readily explainable reason except the plot demands it, there is a burning candle here. It's thoroughly unremarkable, except... No, wait a minute, it's got... Dust. It is unremarkable. Oh, this... This might be a gem. It's caution. Self-destruct mechanism. Do not touch written upon it. Obviously, I'm gonna mess with it again to try and pull it. Oh, it won't let me. 
Nightshade is too far away. Get closer, fuckface. You're still too far away. Little closer. Um, hello, sir? Hello, gent. With a brass hat and a cast iron mustache. I assume that's literal. Oh, God. Pull him up, pull him up. Yeah, see? Oh, God, this guy is way more badass than I am. Which is upsetting if you have taken a look at him. It looks cool. It looks like there's something behind it as well. Alright, hold on. We we are gonna play more of this one day. This game is stupid as hell and I wanna see it. Like shade. I'm sure I'll get infuriated by it at some point. Alright, last one. And we can play actual video games that have video game to them. There is an ice island in the north. It's called Cool Mint Island. Peaceful an island inhabited by the winter fairies. But one day, video games happened. An evil wizard named Droidle? Droidle? Twiddle. The Queen of the Winter Fairies called upon a wizard who happened to look like a pink. Oh. <laughs> she chose this fucking loser named Dana. I'll give you ice magic. Since you clearly don't have any magic of your own, you failure of a wizard. What an odd name to choose, Dana. What are the odds it was a different name and they just had to come up with a non-Japanese game re name really quick? That's kind of cool. It's a fun way to make like a... Let's go to World 8. Uh, number 9. I can... Unblock and block. Yeah, I figured. Alright. Wait. There we go. I, I won't do 9-9. Nine, nine. Come on. Okay. So it's a little puzzle game. It's actually cute and it's got maybe the best animations I've seen on this entire system. a simple little puzzle game. And it's got, like, physics to it. This is pretty neat. Again, for, like, a puzzle game on the NES, this is, this is pretty cool. Whoops. I'm trying to see if any of the other buttons do anything. Can I, like, up anything? 
I mean, unlike some of the other games, like, I can get this. Okay. I'm having to think really hard on this. I feel like some part of the mechanic is not clicking for me. I think part of it is I'm I think I'm sucking up the blocks and moving them, but I'm not. This is a slow speed run. Howdy hoop trin, how you doing? Alright, got it. I swear to god I saw gameplay of this very recently. Alright, we're almost done with World One, then we'll do we'll go to actual video games on the SNES. You can, like, remove structural support. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Huh. Alright, so I do have to do that. Okay, that gets rid of everything I'm standing on. Oh, okay. I see. I just have to get rid of that one specifically. Alright, this, this is kind of fun. I'm enjoying this. Hmm. Okay, hold on. The rewind makes it a lot less annoying. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. Fi. I'll admit, uh, some of the controls are definitely, you'd call them unintuitive. Right, I'm a little stumped on that one, so. Let, let's get to the ass, I guess. Uh, that button for home. All right. So. The SNES, with games people actually care about, like Link to the Past, which I enjoy. Uh, that game that's only in Japanese, which people probably enjoy. Yoshi's Island, Super Metroid, the first Earth Defense Force, Shoot Them Bugs. I don't even know if that's the same Earth Defense Force or not. Macho would probably nut if you played Panel the Pawn. Well, I mean, I feel like there's one... Oh, yeah, Joe and Mac. I was like, what was that game down there? I feel like there's a very specific game a lot of people would really enjoy watching me play that I may not have had a SNES, but I did have a Game Boy Advance, which had a lot of SNES games put on it that I thought were originally for the Game Boy Advance. Turns out they weren't. They were, like, 20 years older than I thought. Uh... And one that I really enjoyed playing a lot on the Game Boy Advance, which is probably a little different than it is on this. I think everyone will enjoy me playing. Fucking prehistoric, man. Hell yeah. Everyone's favorite. Fucking prehistoric man. Everyone's favorite. How can you not enjoy it? Oh, 
I at least got someone with it awful. I'll I'll play a little bit of Donkey Kong Country. You raised them then shot them twice. So, fun fact, really quick, going back to the game selection. I did not realize I had this game because when everyone was shitting on this game that they put this on the SNES instead of games people wanted, that was the image everyone knew. And this was the image I knew and I thought of. And I didn't remember what this game was called. And that character looks nothing like the the fat caveman you actually play instead of like some cool kid with sunglasses. The people who made this game beat Superman 64? I didn't know that. Ninety-five, the year I was born. Shout out. And hopefully if someone for some reason thought I was gonna pull this game up instead of Donkey Kong Country, hopefully I at least surprised them by actually having the game on Game Boy Advance. I really did play this game and enjoy it. It was like Titus, that seems familiar. Looked it up and yet. Uh, apparently awful. I was born in November, so if you were born early in the year, you have most of a year on me. You all damn fetuses, Artie, please. January, but still it surprises me. Yeah happens it tells of a secret place far far to the north jack and daxter so anyway uh i think i've actually talked about this game on stream before just randomly mentioning it this is one of those games where I had fun with it for like the first one or two levels and then it, I couldn't beat the next level. And so occasionally I just pop in this game and play the first couple levels and then I would stop. Uh, for this game specifically, I'm gonna show I actually know what I talk about and I didn't for some reason buy the GBA version of Prehistoric Man for a stupid joke. The, I believe it's the third level has a stupid gliding section that basically controls how uh, Mario controls with the cape in Super Mario World, and I could never beat that damn level. So I only got to play like the first two levels. Might be the fourth level. But that's my history with this game. Yeah, that stupid inventor makes like a paraglider out of pelts. She looks good. You know, get a bang his daughter if we win. Worth it. Alright, I'm bored of this. So anyway, this game's really not that great, but... I do enjoy it. Also, something I don't know how, but, uh, God, this is weird. So, uh, spoiler, I, I did play this a little bit in handheld mode on the Switch. Just be like, what the fuck were the controls again? Uh, it is weird seeing this on such a large screen. Because, again... I would play this on the GBA, which I'm sure many of you know. Not a large screen. So the whole point of this game, since I rambled on instead of listening to the story, how dare I, is something something the tribe ran out of food, something something if we get to the dinosaur graveyard we can have all the bones we want. So, like, the, the bonus scoring for this game is grabbing all the random food lying around. 
and I have no idea where. But somewhere in this level is so much food that I don't know how to get. Because playing this, grabbing all the food I remembered how to get, playing it a second time, using this stupid look around feature trying to find everything, I can only find like half the food. get down there somehow? I don't think so. Anyway, yeah, this this is prehistoric, man. This is the game everyone was making fun of Nintendo for putting on their console instead of games people besides me have played in their life. I'm gonna play the first two or three levels till I get to the hang glider level I hate, and, and then I'll probably play Donkey Kong Country. An actually good game. I mean, how could you, Artie? I'm glad I can finally share the joy of being able to play that sound with everyone else. Anyway, you can kill those turtles, but you get jack shit and you probably land on the spike, so I'm not gonna bother. This is where you learn how to look around. A big burger. All right, fair enough, Artie. Enjoy your shower. You aren't missing a lot. I mean, you're missing Prehistoric Man, which is clearly the best SNES game ever made. Whoops, I didn't get enough of a running start. No! <laughs> no. I really need to put a yes on there, just to, just as a counter. The applause doesn't work too bad, but I want just, like, I I think Bison saying, yes, would just be the perfect opposite to Robotnik's no. Anyway, that was the first level. You get this stupid little dance. Then Gramps Useless judges you. And he's like, you stupid idiot, you only found half the food on this level. See, like, I have no idea where the other half of the stage is that I missed. And I'm gonna assume no one in chat does, because no one else has played this game, because why would you? This is just one of the shitty little GBA games I happen to have. This asshole. Kill me three saber tigers so that we can make the hang glider to cross the canyons. Oh, just one mountain lion. So, I didn't actually, like, play this level off stream. I just did the first one because it's, like, two minutes long. This is, like, an actual level, though. As you can maybe tell. Were bones included in that total? Try to maybe like round out all the enemy respawns. Put spikes. Oh god. I remember you. Gotcha. Oh, Kiwi with the Pokemon again. Again, a much better game. Something actually worth playing. Is this the right way? Did I accidentally choose the right way instead of the optional. I thought since I was jumping on the spiders, that was like the... Oh, there goes my health. The optional way you didn't need to go. Find all the letters of the word bonus. Okay, magically transport to a secret cave full of bonuses. Oh, give me that. Give me the heart. Oh yeah, that's right. You can also like slather. Does nothing. That's your crouch in this game. It's just doing this. Instead of this, that. Checkpoint. You also have the shout, which is like an AoE thing. Give her a bonus. I know, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Give me that axe. Alright, I absolutely went the right way. Whoops. 
Clearly, I didn't remember this level that well. Oh, I have a lot of ammo. Fuck it. A shop. I don't remember a shop. Oh, nope, I do somewhat remember this, I think. I think that's an extra life something. What's this? Oh, just a tip. Eh. Gotcha. Oh, I was supposed to keep him alive and jump on his head. I mean, this one will go. Yay, look at that. I don't know what those, like, squares are supposed to be. All you grab in this game for score like that is food. So it's some kind of food. I don't know if it's, like, supposed to be a jello cube. Oh, God, hello. Goodbye. Right, these aren't the ones I'm supposed to kill. I remember that. There's, like, a boss one. I don't know if the boss one's actually harder than the regular ones. I want to say it's not. Maybe I should have been a little less, uh, spare. You know, using my ammo. God. Wow, this level is a... Uh... Oh, that's the that's the one I need to kill. Because it's spotted. He said that. There we go. Never mind. It was harder. Alright, I got nothing in that level. Because I happened to constantly choose the right way to go on accident. 6% of the level. Those three cubes I happened to grab. Damned pathetic. Oh... He swore at me. I did that bad. Oh, yep. Here, here's the level I couldn't get past as a kid. Let it be known, this is about as much as a prehistoric man I ever ended up playing. Those three minutes we just blazed through. Okay, fucking... How does this work? How does this stupid bullshit work? I do remember that one time I did eventually, like, go back to this and I managed to get through it for, like, the first time. Yeah, god, it's like the Mario cape, but even weirder. And I already don't like how that controls. Oh, I did not have speed there. Was I too dumb as a kid? I didn't know that you needed to, like, back up to there to get a running start. God, this is... Alright, I can't be too mad at Kivmi. This is... Weird. This is a weird control. And not on my phone where everything buffers every two seconds. Welcome back, Cosmic. Welcome to Prehistoric Band. Everyone's favorite SNES game that was ported to the Game Boy Advance. No other game that could possibly take that place. God. You want- no. Kid me. You are valid. This is terrible. The only reason I want to try and beat this is just to say I did. Fuck. Oh, because it's up and down to do that. So it's, like, the same idea behind the Mario World cape, but, like, instead of left and right, it's up and down. Unless that's also up and down, and I'm just completely misremembering all of my Nintendo games. Yo, what's up, Font? Everyone popping in. Eddie who, Font. Hope your day's going well. Same to you, Cosmic. Hope your day's going well. Alright, here we go. I, I figured it out. Also note that fuckhead back there didn't tell me how this controls. He was just like, you got this. 
At least I think. I may have skipped it. I'm gonna be honest. I may have skipped it. I was not paying attention to him. It was just some kind of science nerd. Come on. Uh, whoops. Shit. I'm fine with this. That's, that's as much prehistoric, man. I really just wanted to do the fake out, if nothing else. So, all right. Let me actually look through all these SNES games. I'm going to just start up Donkey Kong Country, but I want to take a look. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying Demon's Crest and Breath of Fire at some point. The OG Star Fox I'm interested in. And also, I'll admit, I'm feeling mostly good. Can I have a sore throat? I think part of it's allergies, part of it's talking for so long. Uh, that one looks kind of cool. I don't care about that. Donkey Kong Country, I'll definitely play. I, I'm good on Mario, honestly. Hey, Punk, are you tough enough? Definitely interests me, whatever the hell it is. Peacekeepers, I'd try it. Ignition Factor. This Psycho Dream looks very interesting from the box art. We have been going 18 hours. I might not grab me tea, but I might see if I can throw some honey in my next coffee. All right. I definitely don't have lemon to throw in anything. All right. Actual good game. Uh, good question, Awful. Don't know. I slept the entire time my body took over. Rip. Oh, whoops. So, I will say one thing going into this. You're gonna hear me complain, because, uh... As I noted, I had the Game Boy Advance version of this game. Which is definitely different from the original. Not in a lot of ways, but in, like, just enough ways to mess with me. So I'm probably going to complain about the differences as we go through. Alright, what the fuck is all the controls again? What? What's my role? God. What? What is my role? Fuck. I right, roll and sprint. God. Oh, there we go. Guess I wasn't moving enough? I thought I would be. Anyway. Okay. De definitely trying to remember all the controls. Because again, this is not the console I played this game on. You know, it's funny. I think the Game Boy version actually looks better. Part of it's, I'm sure, the screen I'm on making it a lot larger. Hoop. Yeah, is the picture thing in this? Or was that added for the Game Boy? Oh, I don't think the picture thing's in this. Lame. I like that. Whoops. I need to be going fast right here. Fair title. Oh, whoops. I... Oh, can save it. There we go. I don't know if I actually need that. But we got it. Uh, I forget. Is there something... Hold on. Up here? Nope. So... Like Prehistoric Man, game I had on the Game Boy Advance that was apparently originally for the SNES. Had no idea as a kid. Uh, let me up there. I know there's stuff up there. Is there not some? Oh, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't making the jump there. Uh, is the barrel there? Or do I platform across the trees? I platform across the trees. 
Uh, the randomizer will probably be in about an hour and a half. Isn't there... I thought there was, like, a barrel that shot me across right here. Am I thinking about the Game Boy Advance version? Is that, a, that not in the original? That may be a Game Boy Advance thing. God, this is weird. Oh, is that not this level? Oh, that would also be it. Whoops. Yeah. I didn't want to jump to conclusions, because... It's been a while since I played this. Like... The last time the Game Boy Advance seemed relevant to me. It's probably the last time. Shit, is there like a secret barrel down that I'm I can fall onto? Uh, like, yes, there is, because that's where those bananas are grabbed from. God, I'm like half remembering secrets, and that's worse than just not remembering them at all. I couldn't remember if that was something I could break. But, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something, and then I got distracted by half memories. Uh, where do I fall down at? I don't remember. Is there a, a look in this game? Does not seem to be. Damn it. They're like. <sighs> Shit. I know. Alright, it's not right there. I will gladly waste all my lives to find the barrel I remember being down there. I know it's there. Those bananas prove it. I think I was saying something. I don't remember. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, but uh, I guess randomizer in an hour and a half. This game is really good. Unlike Prehistoric Man, which I just joked about. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I actually got far in this game unlike Prehistoric Man. It was kind of the gist I wanted to make. Uh, I never beat this game, but I got far in it. I think I got to, like, the second to last world or so. Oh, come on, get at least seven more. Damn it. <clears throat> oh, that put me all the way back? That's annoying, actually. I don't know why I keep going up here. There's... Not really anything I'm actually getting from it. Shit. You dummy. I'm playing as Diddy. Gross. Oop. Uh, and the DK barrel isn't back? Damn it. I didn't have Donkey Kong Country 2. Or 3. This was the only one I had. Is it right here? There it is. Found it. Ooh, that was dangerous. I should have gone back up the rope before that. We get launched there. I remember not to touch anything during all that. Otherwise, you will fuck it up. Oops. Oh, do I actually have to, like, press it in time? Okay. Down on that. Frog totem. Oh! I thought the bee would be back down by then. I am getting my ass kicked by level two. 
mostly because I couldn't remember where that barrel was. You know, it was annoying me. Uh, really quick, can I do this? Okay, I can. Shit. I thought I would I thought I would bounce onto the thing we were already on not off I misjudged it nope oh. uh, but yeah I guess if anyone hasn't voted on the randomizer keep an eye out for nightbot nightbot will uh, post the link at some point you should definitely vote on it it's this one because if I remember right, Dark Souls was only leading by, like, one. Oh my god. You guys actually tied Kingdom Hearts 2 with Dark Souls? How? I do Kingdom Hearts, so fair. I'm a little surprised it's getting that much love since there is no crowd control, though. Froggy! Oh, crowd control lets people use coins to mess with me in the game. Yeah, I remember you joking about that, Kibi. I didn't think you were serious that they were actually tied. Bring on the Zelda. You know what? Fair, Font. You've been having a rough, rough few days. Cannot blame you. Go up right to Fumi. Amatillo. Yep. The amount of times I fuck up that jump and accidentally go into the exit, quite a few. And there's that loser that lets me save. Yeah, so something that was, oh, I wasn't fast enough. I'm pretty sure you can break that wall. There we go. So something that's in the uh, the Game Boy Advance version that's apparently not in the original is that you can... You have like a little scrapbook, and if you kill three enemies quickly enough... Three of the same enemy quickly enough in succession, then you get like a little scrap photo of them, and it was really fun. And you could also get like the scrap photos other ways, I don't remember. That's fair title. Like you can get the little scrap photo of them right there. Oh yeah, isn't this the, the first level where you actually get to control the frog? I don't remember all the animal names. I think the rhino's Randy, and that's about as much as I remember. You'd think I'd remember the, the swordfish. Oh wait. There we go. Ooh, I almost fucked that. 
And I forgot how much love just groove into the Donkey Kong Country music. There's where you can get the little snake photo. Oh yeah, is the Candy Kong minigame in this? I think that was like the first thing where I was like, okay, this is definitely different from the GBA version. Oh, you know what? No, I think that's it. I think this, the little cave I went through to change the screens, I think this level is what changes the screens in the GBA version. There's a gator, watch out. Hungry, hungry gator. I wonder how, f whoops. I went too far. I didn't think I did. The game says so. I think it's just bananas right there. This is where I get the swordfish. Whose name I forget. Oh yeah, isn't it on guard? I think it is. Oh, didn't get that life. Unless... Nope. Yeah, I forgot that Dibby doesn't, like, ride on guard with you. Whoops. Well, oh. Your sacrifice is worth it, DK. Yeah, was that a change between the GBA and the original... They made, like, On Guard even more broken than the GBA. I think it's that way in, like, at least one of the games. I don't know if it was these or not. I think I remember hearing that at some point somewhere. That may be, like, DK3, actually, I'm thinking of. Um, I think one of these spots... There we go. It was both. That one almost got me, just because I happened to move left a little and turn the fish around. Oh, shit. Saved it. Oh, I misremembered what was right there. Grab it. Worth it. Goodbye, fish. That level felt shorter than the Game Boy one. Oh, does it not have the fishing minigame? Is that what's missing? Whoops. I, I'm i sorry, Funky. I didn't mean to leave. I'm trying to progress his text box, and it's not happening. Can I cancel? I don't feel like I can cancel this. Yeah, there's no fishing minigame. Oh, that's upsetting. I like the fishing minigame. The GBA version has a fishing minigame, if you don't know. It's a lot of fun. Ah, uh, this is the one with the barrel right there. That's what it is. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's where you get the little snapshot of them if you don't fuck it up like I just did there. And you know you're playing the version with the snapshot. Oh, I decided to kill myself for no reason. Because I'm tired and had a brain fart. And thought that timing would work out for no reason. Barrel hadn't even reached me. See, that would have gotten me the photo. Needed to update Twitch right now. Oof. Alright, me. Could you not be the worst ever right now? I hit the wrong button there. I almost did it again. 
Why is the camera not keeping up with the barrel the whole time there? Alright, camera's better than the GBA version as well. Don't remember the timing on this. It didn't move me at all there. Can I not move myself there? You can in the GBA version. It's honestly less infuriating if you can't. Okay. For some reason, I thought you had to like backtrack to get the O. Uh, Away, B. Fuck. Oh, saved by the safety barrel that they had there. For people who would screw it up and then live anyway. That's good developing right there. M. God, I do not have the brain power to properly time the barrels today. Got it. Missed my save point. Current game jumped into my spending the save barrel. Oh, does she? Do we also not have the Candy Kong dancing mini game? Lame. I think I saved there. It was like a, a DDR mini game with candy where you could get extra lives. This version's lame, not fun. I'm gonna play my GBA version. Get some tea in the honey. I won't do that, but since we beat the world, I'll get up and stretch and get some coffee, which will be nice and warm on the throat. And I'll see if I can splash some honey into it. Because that does sound good. B, RP real quick.
Alrighty, back. And if you want to do that fun, I'm cool with it. Especially since they're tied, and that makes it easier on me. Uh, hold on. Consoles. There we go. Whoops, that's not the right controller. That's my PlayStation controller. What did I do to my computer? I got some coffee, had it cool down a little bit before actually drinking a lot of it. But I think I got a good balance of milk, honey, and sugar into it. We'll see. Oh yeah. One of the that cave level was way shorter because I should have gotten the frog the first time there uh, for the GBA version. God, did the GBA version just like add levels and stuff to this game too? Apparently I'm playing the, the worst version of it. I feel a little bad. Graphics are a little worse. Its levels are shorter, not as long. Yeah. We cleared out the first boss. First boss is a joke. Is the bee the second boss? Or is it the third boss? Oh yeah, and I think there should have been like another, a different cannon thing. God. This game is way smaller than the GBA version than the handheld version of it, which is strange to say. SNES and all that. Oh, I know. It's just... Again, this is my first real time playing the SNES version, and it's just weird. Like, again, as, as someone who played the GBA version not knowing there was a SNES version and just thinking that's what Donkey Kong Country was. Suddenly, seeing and playing an older version of a game is bizarre. Like when I found out that that the version of Sid Meier's Pirates I play is a remake of a of the older Sid Meier's Pirates, I was like, "What? That game came out in like 2002. They didn't make two remakes back then." Younger, more naive me thought. Yeah, the, the version of Sid Meier's Pirates that I play from, like, 2004 or whatever is apparently, like, a remake of an even older Sid Meier's Pirates that I didn't know until I think I just saw on Wikipedia when I was looking up Sid Meier's Pirates. I love Sid Meier's Pirates. It's such a good game. I would love a new one. It's been 20 years again. They can remake it again. I'm down for it. Oh god, the mine carts. The amount of times I've seen this exact screen, only, you know, prettier on a Game Boy Advance. Whee! Alright. If I remember right, the first mine cart isn't that, that bad, unless you are a small child. But we'll see. I also have slow reflexes because I've been awake for more than a day straight. Which, uh, may make this near impossible. I thought you made that if you didn't jump. Yo, what's up, Yang? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's AC Black Flag. I mean, it is and it isn't. There's stuff I feel like Black Flag is missing that 
pirates had that I miss. I actually haven't streamed that in forever. I should see how it does on this modern computer. That'd be fun for a stream or two. I don't think I'd feel a ton of pressure. Oh, I almost made the same exact mistake. I don't feel like I'd feel a ton of pressure on whether to continue or not. It would just be fun for a few. Oh god, that's the third. Made a dumb TikTok noise. Alright. For for the other ones, I have a strategy on how to get the the things. I do not for this. I'm just gonna go. Oh, I whiffed on a lot of those. I feel like this one's just harder. You kind of have to, like, know the map. Aren't all in, like, a big area. It's way easier to... You have to deal with moving in three dimensions to grab it. I guess the full two, really. Not three. You have to control your up and down as well. Instead of, like, just jumping... Yo, know, nice yay. I can see how a planner would help for something with like that. I almost got three. Ugh. And that button swaps them? Weird. One swordfish minigame? I do not. I do not mind you telling me. I miss my fishing and dancing minigames. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Can I, like, hold on the sticks directions to help oh, change speed? That is a no. Whoops. Shit. Did you want the GBA? Or am I just misremembering? I don't know. I'm tired. I haven't played this game in years. I played a different version of this game years ago. Instead of this one. Two feet from a checkpoint, I grabbed the stupid swordfish thing that reset me to the beginning level. Besides, there are hidden areas where you can get even more of those points. Oh, that's good to know. I don't think I need that. I almost didn't make that jump. I'm being too slow. God. I can understand that, Yang. Gotta, gotta be efficient. I said, go crazy. Clipped, clicked that, clipped that. Ah, damn it! I missed the end. Forgot that's where the life is. Owie, you're too slow. So I'm energetic. If I pass the the part that would constantly kill me as a kid. Try and point it out. I don't think I am. I think it's like one of the last jumps. It's right there. That. Damn it. I remember that being like... One of the first times I've been mad at me because I kept making the same mistake in a video game and I wouldn't learn from my past mistakes. and I just couldn't stop doing it. I think I would... Jump too late, so I couldn't wouldn't have time to jump again. There we go. Got the life. And I just smack into it and die. I kept getting mad at myself because I kept going. It was the same thing. I just need to jump earlier. Why am I not jumping earlier? Or 
something like that. It's like one of the first times I've really felt that in a video game where it's like, I know what I'm doing wrong. Why can't I stop doing the wrong thing? There we go. Isn't that basically the end of the level? Oh, there's one last fuck you guy. That's right. God, the instant he hit me, I'm like, that's right. I hate you. Is this the weird temple? No. That must be like the next level. Boom. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I can live with that. I... I hesitated. I couldn't make up my mind whether I would try to jump over it or try to squeeze through. Oh, my. End me. Why'd that kill me? Alright, get you something good, Cosmic. Fucking weird. Die. Die, B. You don't belong in this world, Christ. Can I stomach playing this for the next hour straight? Not so much can I stomach this game, can I stomach my attempts at this game for the next hour straight? Shoot. Got it. I have eaten font. I have... I have my dinner from last night that I still haven't eaten even close to half of. Do I have my Game Boy bag out still? No. Is it behind my thing? Also, Owie by headphones. I forgot I had them plugged in so that they don't hopefully die midstream. That's all good fun. It should probably actually make me some new food somewhat soon. Yeah. I know Amber recently went through and found a bunch of her old video game shit. Although I think it wasn't just video games. Yeah, we got... One of my favorite RPGs, the Game Boy Color version of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, it's definitely not me. We got Bionicle, the Matoran Adventures or whatever. Never got far in that game either. It wasn't good. We have Super Mario Advance 4, which is Super Mario Brothers 3, because that makes sense. Good job, Nintendo. I hate you. I got distracted from the game, in case you can't tell. We have Super Mario Advance 2, which is Super Mario World. If I'm ever conf- If you ever wonder why I'm confused what order- some of the Super Mario games came out in. This is why. Because I think Super Mario World came out after 3. For the SNES. But on the GBA, that was 2 and then 3 was 4. We have a Sweet Kim Possible game, which was fun on the GBA on car rides, but is really not that good of a game. And it's just called Kim Possible. Yeah, that's true, the North America Final Fantasy nonsense is real bad. 
prehistoric man. Which I had already put back in the bag and then decided to pull everything out. Super Mario Advance 3, which was Yoshi's Island. Uh, this one, and the main reason I started pulling games out. That sweet, sweet Donkey Kong Country. The only 2D song... Oh, fuck, where'd it go? I keep dropping it because of my dumb fingers. The only 2D Sonic game I've ever played, which is Sonic Advance 2, which is like an updated version of Sonic 2. Fucking Lego Racers 2. I never played this game. I don't know what this is. I played it like once and I was like, this is a boring racing game. I don't like it. And I never played it again. Fucking Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. One of the few games that would ever very consistently give me uh, car, sick car sickness when I played it. Fuck it, Brother Bear. Which I actually referenced earlier this stream. Crazy. Even think about that. Did you think I only had console versions of bad movie games? Oh no, I had mobile ones. Like Ice Age. And what's the last one I have? Oh yeah, The Lion King one and a half. And that's all the ones I have in here. I know we had more. Either they're lost or my brother has his, them in his uh, Game Boy bag, if he even still has it. I know at the very least I'm missing Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. I think that's kind of the main Game Boy game I didn't see in there that I can think of. Back to gameplay. You guys have had like 19 hours of gameplay. Are you not sick of it at this point? How can you stomach it? Come on. Especially when it's gameplay like this. I'm not well rested enough to play a game like this. K.O. Do I need that? Why do I need that? Why do I keep grabbing that? What's the point of that? One second. I have played smarter, not harder. Oh, you know what? I think I was actually supposed to keep that barrel for a secret. Uh, maybe not. Shit. Oh, you know what? Maybe after these guys, there's a shit wall you can break. Nope. This was the level I was thinking of. Guess I just thought it popped up earlier than it did. Uh, 
Is there the path there? Oh, I can just go through that wall. Okay. It's, I feel like more clear in the Game Boy version. I don't know if I would have figured that out on my own in this version. So that they could get me subscribed to Nintendo Power. The bastards. Froggy! I'm gonna immediately lose the frog. Alright, I don't know how I didn't land on that guy. Oh, it kills the bees! I don't remember it doing that, but I'm cool with it. Not if I do that. I feel like I hit the underside of the bees already and it was fine, but whatevs. Oh, God. Got in the frog trap. That's why we have that pit. Catching the frogs. In case they get hit by the bees and start freaking out. Also makes a good barbecue pit for the frogs. Just toss down some wood and a match. And you still can't get out even if there's fire. And you have smoked frog legs. Hmm. Hard to get the seasoning down in the pit though, so they're a little bland, but... You can just get so much more of them like that. You're a big, strong, strong guy, DK. You got this. Oh! Supposed to move there. Oh, fuck. And I don't know why my reaction time is just... It's a little off right now. I, I can't think of a single reason why that would be. Oh, I hate this level. <laughs> You're right, title. This level even, isn't even really that hard. It's just annoying and stressful if you're a kid. I got bad memories of it. Hesitated. Hesitation is death. Oh, do I go for it? Oh, hold on. Hey, there we go. That definitely didn't take me forever to figure out as a kid. I don't remember where this barrel goes. This is not great. Made it. Whew. Uh oh, I didn't keep the tire. Made it, though. That was both not that hard and also easier than I remember. Hup. See, I played this game. I know the secrets. I was holding right the entire time. It essentially is an auto roll, brother. He almost got me. Did you see that? He's coming right at me. I think he had a knife. I was terrified for my life. 
Why didn't anyone else try to stop him? Uh, I don't remember that banana. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Oh, wait. All right. Listen here, you little shit. Hup. I think that smelled Cobra. Maybe it was Disney backwards? I don't know. Oh, shit. Am I the shortest one here, though? Uh, maybe. It's a good spot to get the snapshot of those guys if you fucked it up in the other levels. I have a snake. Got it. That makes sense. I like, barely remember where the secrets are, so all this stuff I'm just bringing with me, I'm like, eh, this might be something. I think I remember that being the hardest thing to try and do. I'm 5'11", y'all are tiny. I'm at 5'10". I think I'm at 5'10 and a quarter, which I only really remember because I think my dad is 5'9 and a quarter and my brother is 5'11 and a quarter and somehow we just all ended up with basically a quarter extra. Well, I'm not getting whatever's up there. And I so often... I barely ever do that right, so I don't even remember what's up there. Oh, oh fuck you, coconut bird. You prick. Um, I went on a lot of car rides to my grandparents as a kid, which were about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes long, so. And this was one of the four or five good Game Boy Advance games I had, so I played it a lot. If anything, I'm a little upset I don't remember more of this game. I almost fucked that jump up. Ah, that's fair, Artie. It's the same reason I know a lot and remember a lot about uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, a good amount of Chamber of Secrets, and a good amount of, like, the first world of Super Mario 3. I, I was bad at that one, which... Y'all have seen on stream at this point. I was looking at chat. Yo, nice Yang. Speaking of honey. that bullshit all right it was also bullshit i didn't get hit there so turn and turn about i guess oh this asshole has killed me so many damn times there we go i apparently missed the k oh you know what i think it was in that beginning barrel like bonus room i just didn't manage to grab it because 
Whichever Kong decided not to move when I told them to move. Nope. I was too much of a coward. Yeah, but the other games weren't as good, title. Were you listening while I was listing off the other GBA games I had? I'd rather play Donkey Kong Country again. Although some of the ones that sounded bad actually weren't that bad. I at least remember Ice Age not being too bad of a platformer. Is that it? Are there not more phases to that? Out of Final Fantasy X and Breath of the Wild, yeah. Man, I wish I had a Pokemon game growing up. Especially if I was actually into Pokemon. I mean an actual Pokemon game, not Coliseum. Which is close to a Pokemon game. But it's very different to... You can catch anything. Go out and catch them all and not... Eh, there's, there's a few we'll let you catch. Into rental randomizer. I th Do I have stadium? I might have grabbed stadium. Let me see if I grab stadium. Oh, that's absolutely true title. But, uh... I think I grabbed Stadium for the ex exact reason that at some point I would want to torture myself with uh, with the rental randomizer. I in fact did grab Pokemon Stadium specifically so I could torture myself with the rental randomizer. We could do that at some point. Fair enough title. Thanks for hanging out while you could. Of Darkness and Colosseum. God. Yeah, again, same. Only I only had Colosseum. Which, like, it was fun. I enjoyed it, but. A mainline Pokemon game, it is not. And if I was able to, like, make my own team of just whatever Pokemon I wanted, I would have enjoyed it more. Not that I didn't enjoy Colosseum, but, you know. All right. I trusted the game there, and the game fucked me. I was also... I was definitely not at the height of me loving Pokemon when I finally got Colosseum, so I'm sure that also had something to do with it. Fuck me. You vulture prick. Catching Zapdos is what we in the business call demoralizing. Yeah. I've gone back and played some of the older Pokemon games on emulators. Whew. They're just... They're rough at this point. There's just so much grinding in all of them. It's... It's tedious. <laughs> Oh yeah, isn't this one where I, like, keep bouncing on them? I think I don't die here if I fuck up, I just, yeah, get booted. Yeah, exactly, already. Oh, it paused because the barrel broke and DK was coming back to me. I was like, that was weird. Why was it not moving? And then right when I hit it, it decided to go left. Oh. 
Nice job, me, you idiot. I'm cheating on that one. I don't care. Got in here. <laughs> Fuck you, specifically. Shouldn't have been standing there, nerd. Besides that one super incompetent jump, that went fairly smoothly. <gasps> Treetops! My favorite Spyro level. Can't believe Donkey Kong ripped it off. Come on. That didn't block it. Lame. I thought that hit DK. I was going to be very upset. Oh, I didn't think about that. I got lucky. That was a trick shot. I learned it as a kid. Fuck. Oh, what is this saving me nonsense? I mean, I appreciate it, but, you know. I don't remember that happening. <laughs> We're getting pretty close to starting a randomizer, so I guess if anyone hasn't voted and they want to, make sure you do. <clears throat> and me, I did the same exact thing as last time. I'm still not learning from my mistakes. God, finally. I win. I did the same exact thing. I literally rewound and did the same thing. Not only am I a cheater, I'm a bad cheater. Can't I skip this? Oh. I misremember. I know. That's that's the main reason I'm doing that. Is it's just like, yeah, who cares? Especially on timing things like that, where it's just very clear that my reaction is off. I'm not timing everything right. Not that I wouldn't be dying anyway, but. I 
disagree with that. Uh, I think I need to jump on one of their heads for that. Oh. Really hoping. Damn it. I was trying to get him to spawn again. Nah, whatever. That was on the far end anyway. See, that time it didn't launch me forward. Shut up, Diddy. I'm coming. Oh, didn't grab the rope. Jump? I hit jump. Come on, donkey. Donkey. Oh, fuck it. Who cares? It's one extra life. How many am I going to throw away trying to get it? Let's see. That worked that time. Can I not do this that last time? I thought I did. Oh god, this nonsense. With that. God, my timing is off. Someone help me, I should not be playing a platformer right now. the same speed as the other one. Shh, fuck. I wanted to give it a try. It's not the jump button. Oh, God. Oh, it was the jump button. Why didn't you jump, Diddy? Oh, there goes that. Oh, I still remember this. Oh. Oh, cool. It despawned. Alright. Old game. You fuck. <coughs> Joke's on you. I have the power of cheating.
I don't think I ever found that secret. That is one that this is not familiar to me. I remember this level. At least I remember the the circles chasing me. The giant stone, whatever the hell. Alright, cool. Lost the bird. Goodbye, bird. Don't know if you would have made it over that anyway. Oh, I remember that. Nope, I wasn't trying to grab that rope, but I guess I did. Oh, someone's raiding. Cousin Cat. Yep. Thank you for the raid. Five people. Howdy, who raiders? Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome to the uh, the 24-hour stream I'm doing. My brain is a little gone at this point. Uh, we're playing some Donkey Kong Country for about another however long. And uh, then I will probably be doing Dark Souls Randomized and playing uh, with crowd control. So feel free to hang out for that. Uh, I've, I've played Donkey Kong Country before. Only the GBA version, though, and there's definitely notable differences, but this is not the first time. Howdy who, Nate. How you doing? Welcome back. Hope your day's been good. Don't you dance gay the dance game, the GBA version, the superior version. With fun mini games and better levels, better graphics. Hey, I did it. Oh, damn it, that was... I didn't, I didn't want to leave the level. Why did I do that to myself? This is blasphemy. I hated Jesus, for he spoke the truth. The GBA version of Donkey Kong Country is the superior version. If I wasn't in the middle of the stream and incredibly lazy, I would absolutely... Photoshop that. Or edit it together. Graphics are blown out. Alright, I'll admit, I don't remember the music. You might have me there. I feel like the camera follows me better in the GBA version. And uh, you might also have me on the graphics. I remember it looking nicer than this, but that definitely doesn't mean it did. Especially on a tiny screen versus this. It's tighter you see less than that version? Really? So there were definitely parts in this where I remember the camera actually following me in the GBA that it wasn't following me in this. Specific Alright. Specifically in some of the 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 barrel cannons. Cannon barrels? What the hell? You die. I will end it right before it. Right. Grab that rope this time. <laughs> Fuck. I might play a platformer when I haven't slept in a day. I should play an easy game like Dark Souls. Oh god, my speed ended there for some reason. Ah, yeah, fuck the secret. Oh. I definitely keep expecting that second guy to get hit, and it's not. Oh, screen real estate? <laughs> it's gonna be hell, yeah it is. Listen, just, just be nice to me and mostly go for big head mode. I remember that jump. I remember... Always fucking up that jump. At least that time, that trick worked. Oh god. Uh. My timing is definitely off. I keep hitting buttons before I'm... I should. Oh god, I got lucky there. Huh. My god, always. Oh, I was going to say fuck that up, but apparently not. Oh, too fast. 
Yeah, that's definitely true. Alright. I don't know why... I somewhat understand why. I had let go of the button, and I guess I pressed it before the, uh, the freeing ditty. Oh, I'm fucked. Yep. And I think I, I pressed the button before the animation was done, so instead of starting a new roll, DK just continued the old one. Oop. Come on, me. Ah, you're all, you're fine. There was a lull in conversation anyway. Cousin Catnip, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh my god, I did the same thing, that roll thing I was talking about. I did it exactly the same again. God, I keep over jumping that. I'm impatient at this point. And I am definitely dying because of it. Fuck you. Whoop. Oh. If he got stuck there. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Um. I probably should, Awful. I probably will when we swap to Dark Souls, so I might swap a couple minutes early. I had just started my roll, that shouldn't have hit me. Bullshit. I feel like, to explain what I'm kind of feeling with the ropes, I feel like if I hit jump just right, I can swap, basically, I keep getting stuck on the stairs by not hitting them. You right, Awful. Now, I don't think you can instant death me in the Dark Souls from what I saw. You can just set my health to one. You know. So as long as I notice beforehand, I can heal. At least, oh, didn't overjump it. But I feel like for... Oh, how do you, Macho? I thought you had at least been... Gifted a sub... I don't know. It's been a long stream. People have been incredibly generous, and I super appreciate it in general. I do not know anything about the subs at this point. That is something too much for my brain to keep track of. Oh god, yep. I saw that, but I didn't see enough of it to read it. Oh, I got stuck on the stairs again. Is that different between the GBA version? I don't really remember that happening. I should be looking at the incredibly kind people in chat right now, but I was annoyed. Nate, thank you for gifting five subs. I super appreciate it. And everything else people have been incredibly kind with. Yo, font with a choo-choo. Oh my god, it's a hype train. I think I think that's our first ever hype train. Cause I think I think Twitch may have said oh my god. Thank you, Font, for the hundred bits. Our first hype train. That's cool. I wish I had a little more energy to be a bit more excited about it. Good thing I have like thirty thousand lives. Down to nine. Oh, oh, that was the, it was the same bits. I thought that was new bits. My brain's in a fun place right now. We are hyping for you. You are, and I'm trying to do well enough here. Oh my god. I have no patience right now. That is my main problem. 
Oh yeah, but to explain the thing I was saying about the ropes, it felt like... Like, when you jump on the rope, they, like, swapped the opposite side of where you're kind of facing. I feel like you could jump before they did that to immediately hop off the rope. But if you didn't time it perfectly, then you had to left there. Oh, you know what? I actually... Fuck. I think I remembered that. Well, I remember that now. Yeah, you can... God, what do you do with this? I don't remember the B, but I think I remember that barrel. What do you do with this? I know you could throw it, and you can keep up with it. I'm gonna hold it, because I'm not playing well. Is it just right... No. I think it's further ahead. Fuck. Well, there goes the barrel. A snow level had the ostrich. I do know that this is the, uh, the level you can... Fuck. I totally botched that. This is the level you can wrong warp to extremely easily in the first world. Because... Oh, I think you need the barrel right here. And I actually learned that not from a GDQ like you would maybe expect, or just watching speedrunners in general. Instead, uh, a long time ago, Team Four Star had a little versus series they did. Oh god. And, uh, on one of them, they were seeing how far they could get into Donkey Kong Country within, like, fuck me, 10 or 15 minutes. And, uh, one of them, just kind of pushing buttons on the map board, happened to accidentally trigger the wrong warp and skip forward three worlds, and it was hilarious. And they were very confused. Randomly knew it as a kid somehow. From what I've seen, I I haven't actually bothered to try and do it myself. I tried to jump. Well, no. I tried to roll so that I had the sprint and then jump in. I just didn't have the time. Yeah, all, all you have to do is just press Y, like, while you're walking around the world map or whatever button it is. And you just warp three worlds ahead. Did I get stuck on Donkey Kong right there? I like went back to do that, and then Diddy didn't. Because I went right and tried to jump, but because I didn't go back left as much. I don't know why I don't just throw it at him. If I'm jumping on his head, I'd lose the barrel anyway. Well, I know why. It's because I'm tired. I'm not thinking that much. I don't think the hitbox of that lined up with the graphics. I'll say it. Oh. I thought the I thought the metal barrels went through the wood barrels. I am either misremembering or that's a GBA thing. God only knows all the differences. I don't. Oh, I still have the thing. Duh. Fuck you. I got a level one hype train emote. Oh, it's supposed to? Okay, cool. The game just decided no. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. I'm not already a little salty about all this. God, I'm almost out of lives. If I run out of lives, we're just gonna swap games. I think that's fair. Yeah, I thought I thought that's why they had the middle ones. It must have been like too close. Their dumb little reasoning for it. It didn't get momentum or whatever. Yeah, that's crazy, Nate. Nineteen long, crazy years of Kingdom Hearts. You know, mi minus, like, three for me, because I started with two, but still. 
like 16 crazy years. That's still long enough for it to drive. That's old for a game, I'll say. The game I grew up with. They only made three main games. God, you're right. St still need to play the music game for whatever stupid bits of story they decided to throw in that one. The barrel was a shield. Still need to still need to get the one trophy I'm missing at birth by sleep. I was doing that series playthrough again, and I got distracted with the randomizer. Cave app up after Dream Drop Distance. That is definitely where it took a wrong turn at Dream Drop Distance. Read the needle there. But not having any story until the DLC. It had a little bit, but yeah. But hey, they have like two more phone games since then that have story. And at least it was a good DLC. Yeah, the end part of 3 was great. Several of the wor worlds were also great. Wish there was actual plot in, like, any of those worlds. And Disney wasn't so... tightly controlled about some of those worlds. Frozen. There's clearly an area where the shark isn't. Why can't you just try to go up right there? Alright, I'm kind of proud of- No! Why do I keep picking these up? I keep getting upset when I find a third one. I just need to ignore them. It's only making me upset. Make it up there. Shit. Shit. The big frog. I don't think I ever actually found that. Yeah, I was definitely one of those people that was very upset that the Final Fantasy characters were in it. <clears throat> Alright, where am I? God, all the way back here. Is this before the sharks? I think it is. They definitely seem to notice that there was definitely fan backlash because the l r lack of Final Fantasy characters, because they did kind of sh try to shoehorn them into the DLC as much as they could. So, ho hopefully moving forward they don't do that again. Not the plot I was talking about. Right. Yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't a Sephiroth fight of any kind. It's funny, the base game optional bosses? Lame. That DLC optional boss. Probably my favorite of the series. That or Lingering Will. One of the two. Oh my god. No. I'm, I'm cheating on that one. I'm cheating on that one too. I don't know... <laughs> there. I don't know what pattern I was expecting that octopus to take, 
it was not to immediately go down. Oh, there's gonna be plenty more awful. Hell, there has been new ones. Oh, it's the bee. This is kind of the last thing I really remember. I'm sure if I keep going for it, I'll like see more levels and be like, oh yeah, I remember this. Bee. Oh, that's right. You can't hurt the bee when it's red. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh. Yeah, this was like the end of the first saga of Kingdom Hearts, which makes sense. I mean, they set up all that old precursor. Well, precursor is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. Master of Masters stuff and the old masters and whatnot. Which I'm interested in. It's kind of the more fun bits of the story of 3, anyway. Alright, this fight is definitely different from the GBA version. Fuck. At least this part is? Maybe it'll change? Oh, yeah. No, that was definitely entirely different. Good thing we all played that 100-hour phone game. Yeah, I need to read a synopsis at some point. Old one never struck me well. I'm gonna say now, if the old one didn't strike you well, I highly doubt the new one will. Oh god, ice physics, you say? I don't super remember ice physics. I think this is about as far as I would get. And then I'd be done taking car trips for a while and I'd stop playing GBA games. More kitty, unfortunately. Really, I actually see it going the other way. Moving away from the more kitty stuff. Um, I'm actually going to call the Donkey Kong Country 2 here. So, I'm going to uh, take a bathroom break and a stretching break. And I'll make me a little bit of new food. Well, no, I'm not hungry right now. I'm going to put off the new food for now. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take a bathroom and stretching break. And then we're going to see about that Dark Souls and... Uh, the, the crowd control. So, BRB real quick. And water, yeah.
Alrighty, I stretched, I got, I refilled the little bit of water I've drank, mostly been doing the coffee, which isn't great, but will hopefully, hopefully help my throat a little, okay, so, uh, where's my cursor, there it is, oh wait, we actually don't want that, I want this, which is slightly different. Because the little bit of, well, I say a little bit, I actually planned out the stream way more than I usually do. Go figure. Like it was a big stream or something. But I actually made scenes in OBS for the crowd control Dark Souls and the crowd control Ocarina of Time. I took a gamble that people wouldn't want Link to the Past, and I didn't make a scene for it. I got lucky. Sorry, Kiwi. Alright. So before I actually fully start getting that set up, I want to tweet and throw in Discord that we're starting this up. Because I feel like it was kind of the big... Besides playing games with people, I feel like it was kind of the big... I got a thing set up for a stream. Alright, so. Is it worth it? No. Characters do I have left in this tweet? I think that perfectly captures the tired manic energy I have currently going for me. So we'll Type that out. Throw it in announcements. Clearly the most important thing in announcements. Nothing else even vaguely interesting in there today. Take a look, because I actually have a ton of notifications on Twitter, and I'm curious. Oh. Well, Sega Master mentioned me. That's why. All right, got that, got that. So we are going to go to here. I'm going to change the title of the stream. I'm going to change the game of the stream. Broaden the randomizing modded tags. I think modded's a tag, right? Yeah. Is crowd control a tag? Nope. I'm sure there's a tag for similar stuff, but I don't know it. Alright, now that we've done that, I'm going to double check crowd controls booted up. It is PC Dark Souls. I'm going to go into my extensions. I'm going to turn it on now. It should now be there. Hopefully, people won't get screwed over if they redeem stuff now. Like at the beginning of the stream where I had it on. And then we found out that happens. Uh, that, that. I need to... 
And we need to do, we need to, we need to do the randomized thing. As soon as it opens, there it is. I'm going to quickly capture the, the, God, where is it? I have so many things open that I don't, do I have my calculator open? No? Why, why is OBS trying to capture a calculator? Shut up, OBS. There it is, God. I could not find it. All right. I was already, I never hit stop record for the, a Donkey Kong Country. Whoops. <laughs>